Hey dudes, how you doing? It's Saints. Welcome. We're going through the new PS5 patch, update, whatever you want to call it. I'm not all that interested personally. However, I do know that some of you are waiting on that stock to be able to get a PS5. It's important for some of you and why not oblige, right? So here are basically the 12 things that are going to change in this new update. The first thing I'd like to mention is the fact that from now, the PS5 will allow players to use external USB devices to save their games on them. Now, these games are still not playable from those USB devices. However, when you need to save up space and you don't want to re-download the game, this does save you a lot of time. One interesting thing about this new feature is the fact that some games will be able to just transfer the campaign or the multiplayer to that USB. So I think this will be particularly towards those of you who enjoy kind of like FPS, like Call of Duty or Battlefield, that they have both multiplayer and campaign. It'd be cool if those companies end up implementing this part. Another new thing is the new software update for the DualSense. This really isn't all that important for those of you who don't have a PS5, which is probably the vast majority, but it's still cool that they're putting their effort to make the DualSense better. The third thing that is changing with this update is the fact that you're going to be able to use SharePlay cross-generation platforms. So you're going to be able to use SharePlay with PS5 and PS4. This means that you can see each other's gameplay and in some games you can even join in on the fun so for example a ps4 user will be able to try out astro's playroom for me this is a very big step forward for sony considering they're having some issues with the whole cross-platform thing and it's also a big win for players who have a ps4 and are interested in a ps5 and maybe have a friend and can experience that beforehand before getting one the fourth thing is that in the game base menu you can switch between parties and friends in a tab motion instead of having it all stacked up. You can also turn on and turn off notifications for certain parties. Stacked menus are a pain. It's cool that it passed over to a more, I guess, more convenient way of navigating the menu. And turning off notifications for certain parties is definitely useful if you're someone to play a lot with your friends and have multiple of them. Something that I put as fifth in my list, but it goes timed into what I mentioned about the whole party thing. You can disable in-game chat from the PS5 itself and also adjust the volume by player. So this is particularly useful for those of you who play online and always have to deal with the annoying person or with a friend that maybe isn't speaking loud enough, stuff like that. You can edit that on your own PS5 instead of asking them to do it. There's a new trophy settings and stat settings feature that allows you to customize when your images and videos are being captured when you get a trophy. So let's say that I got a gold trophy, I can customize my PS5 to just select gold trophies and just record videos or just take pictures when I get a gold trophy or a platinum trophy. The new trophy stats screen allows you to find a summary of your trophies. The trophy stats screen I don't find too important unless you're a pretty serious trophy hunter, but being able to customize when you get screenshots and video captures whenever you're earning a trophy that's super useful because i get wanting to record maybe a platinum trophy because like it's a big achievement but a lot of bronze trophies and stuff like that no one really cares about them and they eat up space like crazy on your console so this is pretty useful considering that the ps5 doesn't have the best storage to begin with the next feature is the fact that you can customize your game library and magnification to adjust your needs. The PS5 now supports 120 hertz on a PC monitor at 1080p, and unfortunately does not include a variable frame rate support. Still, in and of itself, 120 hertz at 1080p is pretty good, and it's impressive that they actually put that in there. The 10th major update is that there is a new option that allows you to automatically change to non-HDR output whenever the console is displaying SDR video or video games. Number 11 would be the implementation of One Touch Play and Power Off Link. One Touch Play means that whenever you boot your console, your TV will turn on, which is similar to the HDMI link that you would find on the PS4. And Power Off Link means that whenever you turn off your TV, your PS5 will go into rest mode. On 
honestly, it's a great feature for those of you who are just like me and are kind of annoyed with the amount of controllers you need to have for everything. So being able to do everything just from one controller is very handy, especially if you are in your bed and you don't want to go looking for the controller that may be under it or you left it on your desk or something like that. The 12th and final upgrade that the PS5 will be seeing is the fact that you are now able to preload game patches should the developer allow it. So let's hope a lot of developers choose to do this. That's it for the list of all the new features that the PS5 is going to have. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys are interested in getting a PS5, do these features seem cool to you? Do they seem not important? For those of you who do have a PS5, is this sort of exciting? Like most of these seem like quality of life changes, which I think is pretty important because we've been seeing a Sony that doesn't pay too much attention to small details. And in this update, we're seeing a very different company. It's it's weird with them. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I upload videos every single week about tech or gaming. Remember to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at St. Wolven, as well as join the pack on Discord. Thank you for watching, my dudes, and I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye!